Hey guys. Let me know if you can hear me, okay? We got uh, Brantley and we got Jacob. Hey Brantley, hey Jacob. What is going on? Um, how long is the stream gonna be? Hey guys. I'm not sure, I'm gonna... I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I'm, uh, I'm not sure how long it's gonna be. Let I'm you know gonna do me, okay? the online tournament there. We got uh, Brantley and we got Jacob. Hey Brantley, hey Jacob. What is going on? Um, and then uh, we're gonna go from there. All right, guys, let me just see. Here. Looks like I got some sort of issue with the game. Let's see here. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got Scott in the chat as well. How's it going, guys? Hope everyone's doing good. But yeah, I'm just gonna play this uh, online tournament on Lake Arnold. And uh, just take it from there, see how the stream is going. Uh, Alright, so let's check it out. I played this... Um, earlier. I tried this already and uh, it was pretty tough. I couldn't really find a good spot. I tried the spot that I did for uh, my twitching video. Which was a pretty good spot, but uh, I was having trouble for sure. So let's see if this time I can get a better score. And uh, we'll see, we'll see if you guys have some tips or some lures you'd like me to try, let me know. Let's just get it started. I'm gonna start uh, with some top water lures. You guys know I like uh, trying to spot the fish with those. Uh, but yeah, I think for these, I'm still trying to figure out how to do the bass tournaments. And I think the key is definitely to move around and make sure you're f just like real fishing. You gotta fish where the fish are. So. So we will see. Alright, so. Can I do this area here? here so we're gonna cast all around here and then uh, yeah hopefully we we do pretty well so oh, let's try this one so yeah, we're gonna start with the black plague probably one of my favorite bass lures and just see if we can find any in this area See if we can sight some with our eyes. So you can see I'm up on the board there. Uh, si sixth place. Gonna try to beat that. Oh, there's already something coming after it, so that's good. And what do we got here? What is that? That's definitely not a bass. Probably let it go, but uh, I am curious to see what it is. Oh, okay, it's just a pike. The tail looked uh, really weird when I saw it, so I'm gonna let him go just because uh, not interested in pike here. All right, I think I'm just gonna do like a, a 180 around this area.
Okay. So we got some bass in the area for sure. We're just not taking this lore, so I'll do a couple more casts and then I'll switch it up. You guys in the chat, have you uh, have you done this lake before? Do you guys uh, you guys let me know? And boom, we got one. All right. He's not that big, but uh, I did see a fairly decent sized one. I'm going to pull this guy in anyway, just because uh, we're just getting started on the tournament. We need all the weight we can get. Alright, perfect. Little smallie. Hopefully there's some largemouths. Some largemouth bass here. This is another cool thing about uh, the online tournaments, is that if you don't have the DLC, for Lake Arnold, for example, uh, you can still play it online without actually owning the DLC. Looks like there's a catfish coming after the lure. So there are channel catfish in this area. So I, I picked up this game, Brantley, probably since April of 2020. Oh no, I was taking a <laughs> I was taking a drink, guys. Damn. Alright. Gonna try not to lose this fish. He looks like a decent size too, so definitely wanna bring him in. Probably seven pounds or so. Hopefully I won't lose him. Don't take a drink while you're really in, guys, because you never know what's gonna happen. So yeah, when I get a poor strike, sometimes I go down as low as, you know, 17. When he's testing the line. Just because it's really easy to lose these bass. With that poor strike. But hopefully, uh... He won't break the line. We'll see. He might. Just gonna be patient, because, uh... It's all about getting those five large bass to win. Not so much the quantity that you get. Mm. Further back in the cove. Alright, I'll try that. I'll definitely try that. I'm gonna give it uh, this area probably, since we just caught a, a nice one, I'll probably give it a bit more, but then uh, I'll, I'll go deeper in the cove there, Scott. Sounds like a good good plan. Alright, I'm going to keep doing my 180. This lure seems to be working okay right now, so I'm going to keep it, keep it on. Okay, we got another one. Oh, we got a pike. Keep making my way around here look at all look at all those fish man oh there's a nice small mouth there so I'm gonna try try for that guy I'm gonna stay in the spot what do you guys think about the no snags in the game? Do you guys like that? It's not as realistic, but uh, I think it makes the move the game flow that there's no snags or anything like that. Went fishing yesterday, um, and I got my favorite lure snag, and I just couldn't get it. I think this is a channel catfish, so I'm going to let him go, guys. Perfect. So, uh, 4th of July, um, it's it was my girlfriend's birthday um, this week, so we went out uh, with her parents for dinner. On on uh, we, we just went to a restaurant there. And then, uh, yeah, just hung out with family. 
What about you, Brandley? What did you do anything special? Did you have a barbecue? I wish I would have had a barbecue, but we had a lot of rain, so ended up just going out to a restaurant. Five pounds, not bad. All right, what do we got here? We got two minutes left, and uh, maybe I'm gonna try out that location. We gotta look for those uh, 15 pound bass to in, in order to get anywhere near the top, probably. Plus there's a bit of a nuisance species here. Second time I catch a pike. Lime colored buzz bait. I wonder if I have that. Let me try it out. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I have the lime colored one. Is that in a DLC, Scott? Oh, nice. Did you get any good catches, Brantley? I just lost did I, my favorite lure yesterday, though. That was about it. I didn't catch a thing. What's going on? She loves Zero. Good to see you back again, hanging out on the stream. All right, I'm gonna see about the, that lime colored one. See if it's there here. Reflex bluegill. Yeah, so I don't think I have that DLC. I think that's part of a DLC which I don't currently have. But let's try a different one. But I'm gonna switch to the jitterbug here real quick. And then maybe I'll go deeper in the co in the cove there, like uh, Scott had mentioned. I know the big bass will go for the f the the top water lures that are. Um and a pike in this area. Eh? Maybe I'll just uh try this direction one more time and then uh, I'll head deeper into the cove. Alright, right on. Uh, that's bass you fish for, right? Yeah, I gotta see about uh, get, getting that one, Scott. Is that the, the bass the bass pro? Bass, but he didn't. He's not liking this lore. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh, that catfish is back. Maybe that's a different one, even bigger. Let's see if we can entice this little guy. a bit of a stop and go and what did we get it's I think like a crappy no bluegill I haven't caught a bluegill on this lake personal bass one pound all right let's get out of here and I had uh, deeper into the cove man I would love to fish in a spot like this so many good hiding spots for fish. Let's see what we've got here. I guess that that's the... I'm gonna try just over this way. I'm gonna go back. We'll try this one, guys. See if we can draw out one of the big bass. Hey, uh, Nolan, what's going on, man?
Yeah, I, I definitely have to... Should probably pick that up. Uh, I just uh, ended up getting a, a couple more of the maps. And then... Uh, but yeah, it would be fun to definitely try that. Just the more lures you can play with, the better, right? That's what fishing is all about, man. <laughs> I was watching a, a YouTuber today um, talking about how his dad used to say that uh, that was one of the fun parts about fishing. Like, people get pissed off, of course, when they lose their lures, but I mean, that just means the positive outtake in that is going back to the store to, to pick up some more. <laughs> no, there's no bluegill where I live, uh, Brantley. That's a bass. Oh, line's going all funky. Funky line. This guy's a little dull. Is he a largemouth? This is spotted bass. That's nice though. Uh, let's see if we can draw out a big one. I've caught some big bass with this lure. So hopefully we can get something that's over 11 pounds. That would be the goal. I'm not visually seeing too many here, so I. I might do a couple more casts and maybe move around. Maybe I should try, um, some, some sinking lures probably too. I know when I was doing the last video for my second spot in Lake Johnson there, I, I didn't do as well with top water lures as I did with the sinking lures there. Well, there's a decent sized one. But I mean, I think we've only caught three so we're looking for anything we can get right now but yeah I went fishing down uh, in, a, in a creek yesterday and uh, I saw a couple of uh, people fishing with flies I don't really I, I'm not too experienced fishing with flies um, I don't and I don't have a, a rod for fly fishing but out here where I live, you can only get salmon uh, with with flies, with fly fishing. So I definitely want to get into it. But I just had my spinner. Okay, so this is an area with spotted bass. And they're going for this lure, but they're little guys. But let's see. We'll, we'll try behind the boat here. But yeah, they got, the, the other guys that were fishing there, didn't. I just stopped to talk to them a bit. And, they weren't having much luck either. And all I accomplished was losing my, uh, one of my favorite lures there, but that's alright. Any of you guys in the chat, uh, fish for trout? Okay, what is that? Another catfish. Man. If you guys are looking for spots in Lake Arnold for catfish, this little area, this little cove here is filled with them. Oh man, you know what? Maybe I should move up the boat up to those um, lily pads there. It's not lily pads, it's more like seaweed. Oh man. Oh, there we go. There's a nice looking bass right there. Let's see if we can entice him. There we go. This is a nice one. I hope it's a good one. It looks nice. We will see.
see if we can bring this guy in. Hey Brantley, so I have um I just have an ugly stick I use for trouting. And I have a a, a Mitchell reel. I'm not sure I, I I would have to go look at it. But yeah, I'm, I'm not too much of a like a, a gearhead yet. I'd like to get into it, but I just don't have... I would probably spend too much money. <laughs> but yeah, trout is my favorite to eat for sure, so... But yeah, I definitely want to upgrade my gear when it comes to it, but... I just need to, to find more time to get out there. And right now, I would just with my ugly stick and my, and my little Mitchell reel I got... It's not, it's not a very fancy one, it's just like an entry level one. But yeah, I, I just, I use a 8 pound braided line and then I just have a bumper uh, with 6 pound right now, fluorocarbon, and then I mostly use spinners and I like floating warms. I'm gonna try doing drop shots, I was looking at those rigs before, I haven't used them, I just mostly, cause there's a lot of a lot of creeks here and I just um, use the spinners for that but I'd like to maybe do some uh, drop shot allure that, that I can float the the live bait that type of thing what about you Branley what kind of equipment do you have and Jacob how do you how do you fish for your trout is it mostly in, in creeks Mostly spinners, or yeah, I love cooking up uh, trout. Okay, there's a nice um, another catfish. There is a nice smallmouth bass there that I'm gonna try to get. And Nolan, if you're still in the chat, what do you go out fishing? And if you do, um, what kind of stuff do you fish in where you live? Alright, let's try to switch it up. We'll try this this one here, see if they look for this one. Is that a bass? Or is, I think that might be a walleye. No, get away, get away. Yeah, that's cool. Oh no. I was not ready for that guy at all. Came out of nowhere. Yeah, that's that's a nice reel, man. Yeah, I definitely wanna Oh Scott, you're fishing the same tournament, nice. Yeah, I definitely want to upgrade uh, my uh, my gear, but right now the gear I have is, is plenty. Plenty for what I need. How, how, how are you doing in the tournament, Scott? Okay, you got reservoirs. That was a nice one, guys. Look at that. Nice trophy catch. Nine pounds. That's not bad. This spot is doing me pretty good. I think I want to try some uh, sinking. Yeah, I love using the night crawlers too. I definitely, I'm trying to get out a lot more this summer. Just trying to get really, really into it. Um. It's just tough, you know, with everything going on. It's, it's hard to find the time sometimes, but hopefully I can get out again uh, this weekend. All right, we're gonna try actually just going for um, some of these. We'll try the shad. See if I can get some twitching going.
can no I can't get that good rhythm going guys one second we try again well I'm only a couple of pounds from beating my previous score so that's good oh, I lost the rhythm there we go Looks like a spotted bass, I think. Yeah, he's not that big. But we're going to bring him in anyway. Well, I actually meant to change uh, these rods to bait casters. But that's alright. See if we get anything this way. Man, I hate twitching in this game. It's pretty tough. It's funny because I have a video doing it and I got pretty good at it. But then since I took like that six months where I didn't play at all, basically. I feel like I'm so rusty doing it. So maybe I should go back and watch my own tutorial. Oh, I can't get a good twitch going here. Yeah, man, I, I, I like ugly stick for sure. It's, that's what I've always used for trouting. Let's check out this area here, man. I'm gonna check out this area right here. Oh, look at that between these two trees. Let's see what we got here. See if we can cast a little further. Fishing in real life? Oh, I don't know about that. I'm uh, I don't feel like I'm experienced enough to to do that. To be honest. Um. And I I feel like you need like some proper equipment, like a GoPro or something like that. And also, I haven't lived in the area where I'm now for, for too long. Oh, this is a nice one. This is going to be a nice one. This might make me beat my own score there. But no, I mean, that would be fun. I mean, yeah, like maybe maybe if I get out and we do some nice catches. I'm also going to see if there's a way that I can get out uh, salmon fishing with, a, and if I can get someone to lend me their their fly rods or something like that. And um, that would be that would be super fun. So I'm gonna see if I can do that, and then I'll definitely maybe make a video about that experience. But yeah, no, I'm just starting to get the, to know the area. And the thing is that since I wasn't, since I just moved here, I've just been living here for a couple of years. And uh, you know, you ask the locals, you ask people around here where the good trouting spots are, and they keep it pretty tight. That information, man. People don't like giving it up. <laughs> So I've been having to do a lot of exploring the last couple of years, just a lot of walking, a lot of figuring out where to leave my car, where to access the waterways, and uh, trying trying to find the good spots. So, um, so yeah, hopefully, uh, I think I found a pretty good spot. So, so yeah, if I, if, if I'm having a good day, maybe I'll take a video or, or some photos and share it in the community page. Nice, 12 pounds, guys. Finally. That put me in number two. That's awesome. That was with the Ocean Breeze uh, Pro Shot in this new little area here. Between the two trees there. 
with that twitch. I also want to kind of get a kayak, just because I feel that fishing from a kayak would make my life so much easier. I don't have a boat, guys, so, you know, I'm stuck just like walking around in creeks or, or fishing from the shore in the lakes, but sometimes that just doesn't work. You need a, you need a boat, I think, to, to explore the lakes and everything like that, right? I do have some people that, you know, have cabins and I can go fishing there off the boat and everything like that, but, um... And, and then I do I do know some people that have uh, boats that get out on the ocean and we go go get cod. That's always fun. Hoping to do that this summer too. And if I catch some big cod, I'll definitely definitely make a little video or something so you, just so you guys can see. That'd be cool. But yeah, other than that, I probably just stick ar uh, around to just keep playing this game when I, I don't I don't have a chance to get out in real life. Scratch the itch. And other than that, yeah, man, I'm going to keep exploring my area, and... Oh, that's way too far. Let this sink a bit. And hopefully, you know, I get some more experience in my area. Get better at catching those fish. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, sorry. We'll deal with it. He's decent size, so I gotta be careful with him. I don't want to lose him. But yeah, I really want to get into, into into fly fishing. That looks like a lot of fun. Any any of you guys do fly fishing at all? Let me know in the in the, in the chat. And Scott, how are you doing in the tournament? Let me know if you find a different spot or something that I should check out. I caught the biggest bass here. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you're still there, but... There's this area with these two trees, and it's been pretty good. This guy's decent size as well. I'm just taking my time bringing him in because I had a, another poor strike. That's the problem with twitching, too. That's why sometimes I prefer to do... Uh, top water. So, 8 pounds. That's nice. Go between the trees again. Oh, look at that, guys. First place. Don't usually get first place in bass tournaments. So that is pretty cool. Now we'll see. It's just the beginning. It's the middle of the week, I guess. So someone's probably going to come in with like 76 pounds or something. And I'll end up in the top 10 or top 20, but that's okay. But yeah, I would love a kayak because you can get um, you can get to many places that even boats can can't, and then you can get to areas that aren't as overfished. I'll do some top water here. Switch back to my top water gear. Which I guess. I'm gonna try the head-on knockers. Maybe I'll try popper instead of this. I think I have a big popper. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna try the albino frog. And I'm gonna try... Whoops, I went too far. I want a popper, but I want a big... Is that the biggest they go? Yeah, four inch. Try the whale. Oh yeah, in Florida, right. But I, I'm pretty jealous though, man, because it seems like in Florida you have so much, so many different species of fish. Like I'm really just stuck with trout, really, and and then the sea, like flounder, cod, things like that, mackerel, I guess. 
people here go squid jigging, crabbing, things like that, but I haven't really done any of that. And then other than that, you can go, you can drive like 12 hours and maybe you get to a place where there might be sturgeon and there might be arctic char. That's what you get for living in the North Atlantic, I guess. But the trout is awesome, man. I really love trout and I love the taste of trout and salmon. What can beat salmon for, for eating, right? Try getting closer just so I can do, but this lore is definitely not attracting anything. Oh, whoops, guys. Let's do this. This might be time to maybe switch the area. I don't know. Maybe I'll hit try to. I guess you can't really head deeper because the area is blocked off now that I think about it. Go this direction. I think that I fished this out. We caught a really decent sized uh, bass here though, so I'm happy we came here to this area. Let's see if I can increase that speed. Oh, here comes something. He's a small spotted bass. Let's cast in the direction he came from. Get away. Let's see now. Alright, I think this area is done for. So I'm thinking of getting out of the cove. Try where it joins the main body of water. Around these trees here. Oopsie! Smash the boat against the tree. It's not good. Yeah, we'll try. We'll see if we get a visual. Get some fish here. No, she doesn't really like it, Branley. <laughs> she doesn't mind it though, but it's not like her idea of a of a perfect evening or anything. But she she will do it. She she's really excited to get to go cod cod jigging, cod fishing this summer. So I think hopefully we'll get around to doing that. Nice pike. Don't want pike right now though. And there is a bass there, so that's good. Um, 
buzz bait again. Let's try to the right, and then I'm probably gonna move. Seeing a lot of pike, and the bass I did see doesn't look like it's that big. We're at the point now where I need things that are bigger than eight pounds to move up my score. That is decent looking, man. You guys see that? Big fish will uh, go for this. He looked decent sized. Definitely worth it to try to get him if he's still around. Nice. I wonder if that's the one I just saw because if it is, it's gonna be a good size. Yeah, that's a nice sized bass. I think it's a small now. I think that's a smallmouth. But yeah, yesterday I tried two different spots when I was fishing and I found this little creek out in the middle of nowhere, like in an ATV, pretty much like a trail where people go ATV. And it was cool because uh, there was a gigantic osprey nest and it had uh, a little, little osprey in it and then the two parents were uh, going around fishing in the lake around it. 13 pounds, guys. Nice. This was wicked. That's gonna that's gonna do nicely for the score. Give me a bit of an extra lead. So yeah guys, I visually spotted that fish and then basically you just got out the good old head on one knocker, the perch, and then uh, it went for it, which is fantastic. Just fantastic. I'm pretty happy with that. In fact, I'm probably going to move again. I feel like that's the way you have to do the... Because, you know, when I'm playing my career or when I'm playing the offline tournaments, you got, if you guys have watched my videos, you, you notice that I try to find uh, hot spots and then I just fish the hot spot. And you're pretty much... Uh, if, you, if you have a good spot, sometimes the spot won't work, so you have to move around. But I feel like for these online tournaments, like once you catch the big bass you're looking for, you might have to move along in the area. I haven't really used the fish finder as much. Most people I talk to, they don't like using the fish finder that much. Do you guys ever use the fish finder in here? Or do you guys just kind of look for spots where you would fish normally? Like there's some nice fish behind the boat right now according to the fish finder. There's some gigantic fish, so let's see. You know what, I'm going to switch back to this setup here, and I'm going to do a swim bait. It'd be cool to try a spinner too, maybe I'll just try a, um, oh look at that. I don't own the perch, eh? I'll just try a big old 5 inch perch. And maybe we'll get lucky. Not really. 
Oh, the fish finder question. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I do too, man. Uh, we'll see. If, uh, I basically, I'm, I'm basing casting here off of the fact that I saw a bunch of big fish on the big, on the, on the finder. And see if, uh, that works. Gonna try to retrieve this pretty fast. There's something there. I wonder if that's a bass. Do one more with this one. Gonna give it some distance. Hey, uh, fishing with Ethan. What is going on, man? <laughs> Sp Spazen, yeah. Yeah, man, I, I hear you. That, that's pretty funny. But yeah, that's what I do too, man. Like, every every good spot I've found, it's always been uh, just somewhere where I would go in real life. And uh, yeah, it tends to work out fairly well, but sometimes it's not all that consistent. Okay, that's what's up. So I'm going to just, gonna just keep moving up the shore. Let me see if I find a nice rock or some dead logs or something. Or a little cove with some big cover. I'm interested to go where it says wet. See if there's anything here. I'm gonna switch back to the top water. And yeah, okay, we'll try the albino frog. Why not? I actually really want to get in there where it's blocked off. But maybe there'll be some fish hanging around here. See if we can get visual confirmation with the topwater lures. Yeah, Jacob, the 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 docks are always pretty good. I would agree with that. That you can't go wrong just trying out whatever dock you're starting from. Is this a trout, guys? It's a trout. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna bring it in just to look at it. I... We are in first place, even though I'm definitely not gonna end in first place. I don't think, guys. There's always someone who comes in and fishes like 80 pounds of bass somehow in these tournaments. There you go, nice little rainbow trout. That's what I'm used to getting in real life, right there. See if we can draw out a big bass with this one where we caught the biggest catch we've had today. This is the head on one knocker perch. Let's just do this, see what happens, guys.
I mean, it'll get a big bass. It'd be nice to get like a 16 pound bass right now, wouldn't it? That would really give me an edge in the leaderboard. There's something coming after it. Come on, come on. I'm gonna stop the boat just so I can. Uh... Let me just. Uh... I'm gonna stick here because I saw a fairly decent size one, so. Just see if we can get it. Oh man, it would be awesome though to have like a real life uh, YouTube channel where you just travel around North America fishing. Like that would be an incredible job or way to make a living man I'm telling you <laughs> alright there's some uh, this is what I'm talking about guys see so I just turn on the trolling motor big old bait and now I have visual confirmation that there are some big bass in the area so hopefully you know the whole point of uh, making these is that you guys get some tips on how to maybe do a little bit better on these. I know when I first started playing this game, it was just so hard to do well on these online tournaments. And it still is, I mean, like I'm saying guys, right now you see me at the top of that leaderboard, but that's not gonna, it's not gonna stay like that at all. Till Monday I think it is they're gonna, they're gonna reset the, the boards and start the next tournament, right? Oh, he's a cool-looking uh, smallmouth bass. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw that. Don't know if you guys saw that, but I think there's a big, big bass here. We're in the wetlands north of Lake Arnold. We pretty much fished the west side of the lake heading north. Spend a lot of time in that alcove. Look at that. Oh no, that's just a walleye. Damn. That's too bad. I really thought that there was a gigantic bass, but it uh, looks like it was just a walleye. Guys. Would be nice to catch another 13 pounder, 14, 15 pounder. They're not going for this lure. Let's try the popper. What's going on, Brandley? You're back. Thanks for joining the stream. Thanks to everyone who's uh, hanging out. It's pretty fun. Uh, let's just see. Oh, is that a? No, yeah, that's a. That's a walleye. That is a walleye. I'm playing on PC. Uh, it's 
thousand playing on PC, playing on Steam there. Yeah, I don't know where those big bass that we saw went, man. All right, We're gonna move the area. Oops, smashed against another tree, guys. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> oh, man. Brantley, I'm not sure when the next live is going to be. I'm going to maybe try to do one this weekend, depending on how busy I am. Uh, but I'm thinking of making one on Tuesday night and one on Thursday night, like every every week, hopefully. Just try. I'm, I'm going to try to make them just pick one slot to do it. Just because on the weekends uh, I'd rather maybe do some real time fishing, even though I am for the furthest out east you could be in this in this time zone. So I don't know if you guys are more centrally located. Uh, so maybe I could do it on weekends as well. Uh, just have to do it a little later because I'd rather be out actually doing real fishing for sure. Oh, there's a trout there, but I don't see any bass. I love how aggressive the trout is when they're going after your bait, man. Let's get that frog going. Hey, Soar, uh, Rift, the, uh, for bass, I really love the Ocean Breeze Pro Shad. I love twitching that. I love um, milk money. Uh, I love topwater lures like um, the the buzz, the black plague buzz bait. That's probably one of my favorite lures. The the red rattle trap, the red crawfish rattle trap works really well for bass. I've caught a lot of bass on that one, including a 15 pounder. Um. What else? Uh, the warms. Oh, uh, I used actually. Let's try it out. Show you guys this one. This Yum Christy Craw Natural. I've caught a lot of really nice bass with this. So we'll give it a shot. We got only two minutes and forty-four seconds. All right. So we got Soul Rift here in the chat. We got Snake on in the chat. Time to listen to the stream and laugh some fighting games. Cool. What kind of fighting games, man? Oh, I forgot that I was. <laughs> I thought I had another top water lure. Anyway, I'm gonna attempt to twitch this guy, but. Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, it's not working. It's really strange, actually, how different lures have different. My favorite ones to twitch is the, the ocean, the, ch the shads. But you can twitch this lure, but it's hard. It's even harder to get a good twitch on it. And 
that's not just not happening. Alright, let's see if I can get myself more distance. And we'll try doing it a little quicker. So we'll try three. And no, she's not gonna twitch. Oh yeah. I had a friend who used to love uh, finding games, man. Do you have a... Do you have like one of those little rigs where you have the joystick and the buttons? Is that... I remember loving those games uh, when I was uh, a kid. Like Mor when Mortal Kombat 3 came out, that was... Uh, blew everyone away, man. Those crazy, super violent fatalities and that kind of stuff it was crazy. Can't get a good Twitch going. Anyway, guys, so that's it for the Lake Arnold online tournament. Incredibly, we're in first place 50, with 57 pounds, zero ounces. Uh, I wish I would have brought up the catch summary. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to stay on the spot. Probably gonna by the by the time Sunday Monday rolls around, I'll probably be in like twentieth place, but that's all right. Cool to be top of the leaderboard, even if it's for a short time. But all right, uh, how are you guys feeling? Do you guys want me to keep fishing? I still got some time here, so we only have six people in the chat. Let me know if you'd like me to do another online tournament. Or maybe we could go and look for Porthos again. I kind of gave up looking for him lately. Because I keep trying and trying and I just can't get him. Super annoying. But yeah, let, you guys let me know how you're feeling. If you want me to try another online tournament. Or maybe we can go look for Porthos or we could fish somewhere else. All right, I'll, I'm gonna keep f fishing snake. Hey, Soar, so I can't, I cannot do a, a multiplayer game right now, just cause uh, my internet right now is being super finicky and I don't wanna, I don't know if I, if I have the bandwidth to stream and like I might be very laggy with the other players. It's something I want to start doing, but I'm just trying to see if I can get the landlord to upgrade the the internet that I have right now. Just because I do have some people that I want to add on the stream and it'd be really fun to do some multiplayer. But right now, just because of the internet, I think that it's gonna maybe make the stream laggy or it just wouldn't be good. But that's on the works, man. That's on the works. I'm working on it. Catch them all fish and fan. Thanks. Catch them all fish and fan. I appreciate that. All right, listen, I think I'm gonna see what other online tournaments there are and maybe we could try another one of those. And I don't know if you guys know this about online tournaments, but you can just uh, pause them. So, all right, I like doing Predator 2, or I could do Carp. Lake Travis Predator, I am not familiar with this at all, so it would be you guys watching me give it. Without any practice. So what do you guys wanna see here? We could do Carp as well, maybe. What do we got here, what's the map? Gillums, for Carp, I haven't really I just got the DLC for Gillum's fishing resort. But I also would be kind of like lost doing it. So what do you guys want to see? You guys let me know in the chat. 
You guys want to see some carp fishing in Gillums or some predator fishing in, uh, I guess I could do the match event too, but eh, it's not as fun. Or we could do predator fishing in Lake Travis. And yeah, Scott, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that going. Hey Snake, uh, I don't do any speed running. All right, we got carp. First person to say it, let's do it, man. Let's do the carp. We'll do the carp, Branley. All right, so I'm gonna bring my carp default. I'm not sure what's in it, but uh, we'll take a look at it. I assume that the that the carp in this resort are gonna be pretty big. So we'll see. I again, I last time I fished this was last year. Heck, I don't even know a good peg. Uh, let's try this one. And yeah, Snake, I don't really do speed running. I used to do that more uh, for like Super Mario games. I used to have them pretty well memorized back in the day. For scrollers like that. And I tried doing a speed run of the Outer Worlds when I played that. Oh god, you guys. Look at this. I got the friggin' pass. All right, I don't know why I didn't pick it. Let's just see here. What do we got here? Essential cell, crank rig. I wonder what the bed is in this. Oh, look at this, man. I, I haven't played this much, but that's pretty cool. They got like a little... Okay, so we got... I'm gonna switch mine to a dark matter rig. I should probably do this before you start fishing, guys, because you're losing precious time. But that's all right. We're just hanging out, chilling. Let's see if we can get another one going here. And yeah, I'm gonna float. I think that all these are floaties, so we're gonna try floaties first. And what's going on? Oh, I haven't claimed the pack. Jeez, guys. Wasted two minutes. Two precious minutes. That's all right. Catch them all. It's fishing in the canal. And so I assume you mean uh, Grand Union there. Yeah, pretty fun. I find the carp there are smaller, so you do have to go in with, uh, with a smaller setup for that as well. Again, guys, I am super inexperienced when it comes to Gillums. So if you guys got any tips on a better peg or if you guys got any tips on some baits to use, let me know. See if I can get a better spot. Man, I would love to go to Thailand and literally fish this resort. This is a real, like, I guess they're all real resort places in the game. But uh, I hear they have some crazy monsters in this place, so that would be so cool to go there and try it. Alright, we got something with the sea monster. Okay, we got two lines engaged. So we got line three is engaged as well. I gotta remember the order. And we got line one engaged. Okay, so all these baits were working really good. So my order is three, then one. We were probably gonna lose one of these fish. Oh man, and this guy just wants to take my line. Wonder what we got on it. I hope it's a carp. 
I don't think they are applying really good with this. Yeah, I love the, using the Tiger Nuts too. Maybe we'll, we'll throw some of those on. Whatever is on here is going to be a, a thick boy because he's taking my line out. He's not letting me pull him in. So we might lose those two fish we have. But that's alright. If, if this guy's a thick boy, it doesn't matter that I'm okay with losing one or two fish. Does he want to come in yet? Yeah, he's starting to get tired. He's starting to get tired. He's taking the line out again. I'm really interested to see what we got here, man. I wonder how long those other two fish are going to wait for me for. Buddy, you tired yet? You better be a carp. Imagine it's not even a carp. But I don't know that there's anything else in this lake that would go for this bait. I just need to get a visual on the fish, but he's still too far away to tell. He won't let me pull him in. Oh, we lost one. We probably lost uh, line number three. And it would suck if this isn't even a carp. But I, I assume it is a carp. This better be a ginormous carp. And is it a carp? Oh, it's not even a carp. Guys, I think I got a bream on here. Is that a bream? Or no? Oh, no, it might be like, um... Yeah, no, I think it is a carp. It's just, um... What's it called? Is it? I'm not sure what I got on here. I'm, I'm not even sure that I have a carp on the line. It looks more like a bream, but we are in Asia, so it might just be a different looking kind of carp. Just not used to fishing this resort. Okay. Siamese carp. 125 pounds. Jesus. And we lost whatever we had on line 3. But let's... Check out the essential cell. And sea monster, I think that's on the DLC and so is this um, essential cell. Looks like it's another Siamese carp. Yeah, it would have been really... Hey, Musaka. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, no, I... We already fished uh, Lake Arnold, man, in the first hour. And uh, <laughs> I guess I gotta be careful what I title the streams. But no, um, we already fished um, Lake Arnold, ended up coming up first place there for the bass tournament. Uh, if you if you want to go back and uh, and maybe see some of that later, there's some good spots we found. But no, man, I, I decided to keep fishing for a bit. I don't know if I'm going to do the full 50 minutes here, but I haven't really played Gillum's too much. And people wanted to see some carp fishing, so here we are. And yeah, we were talking about uh, possibly getting a multiplayer going, but I just got to see about my internet. I was explaining to everyone in the chat that I got, um, I got some... Uh, issues with my internet right now it's being really finicky and I don't want to do multiplayer and the stream at the same time because it's gonna it's 
gonna be extremely laggy or, or it, might, it might just be a bad experience with the multiplayer and it might be bad if like people can't watch it properly too so I gotta see uh, but yeah I'm looking to get it fixed oh no oh, what an idiot <laughs> guys this is why you don't fish and talk so much you gotta pay attention to what you're doing <laughs> Damn it. I mean, dang it. Alright. It happens. You're gonna lose fish. Let's see if we can catch some more. Gonna clump up all my lures. And do a bit of spotting. And then maybe we'll see if we can catch some more with these baits. And then we'll see about maybe getting something different. Catch them all. Do you mean the... Uh I'm assuming you mean by the real. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh god, it's, I want to say Vader X, but that's the carp reel I'm using. Um, I think I'd have to check my. <laughs> Here, look, I really like this one here, the Ducket 360 Black Red, and then I was trying out some of the ones I got in the DLC, so check those out. You might not have these though, but I really like this one, the 360 Black Red. Yeah guys, so I got the Essential Cell, and I got Sea Monster, those worked well, but I think I'm going to switch up the Corda pop-up. Or uh, some people have been talking about tiger nuts, so I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try a big old pop up tiger nut. Let's see, I think they're under natural or float. They'll be under float too. Here we go 20 millimeter pop up tiger nut. We're gonna try different section of the lake. Or maybe not. So I'm gonna clump this bad boy over to where I was. And then we're gonna pick up the essential cell. Yeah, Masaka, I like that too. When I was playing on Xbox, that's the one I used to equip. The 13. The 13 series for both Predator and. Uh, for both spinning and, and baitcaster. Maybe we'll do a... We'll do a test. I'll put a sinking tiger knot. And a pop-up tiger knot and see what happens. See if we can catch. The cool thing too is that if you vary your bait, you're gonna get different species, right? So this is probably I'm gonna assume it's another sign in this carp. Man, these guys are uh, fighters, eh? Probably gonna move pegs as well, just such a small lake. Is it even a lake? I guess it's more like a like a reservoir, isn't it? I gotta pay attention here guys, I can't lose another fish. <laughs>
Some crazy noises from crazy animals in this game. Alright, let's bring this guy in. I wonder if he'll be heavier than the one I just got. Yeah, 132, nice. Level 89. Okay, so... Let's try the big old tiger knot here. We'll do the sinking. I'll try the imitation snail, why not? Just try something different. And then we'll try another sink. We'll try the SCB. It's a big, it's 20 millimeters, so. See how that does. Should I switch pegs? Alright, I'm gonna switch pegs. I'm gonna come over here to the top left. To see if we get a different oh Let's see I just had a little bit of lag there looks like we got gravel in this area so we're gonna try um, these new baits see how they do Yeah, the the Arapaima. I think it's the biggest one in the game, right? It's uh 520. Is it 525 pounds? I I caught the biggest one in Laguna Iquito, so I I put up a video on it, and uh, it was pretty awesome. It was my first time fishing at the peg, and the thing just came up and beached oh there's an arapaima right there man to my right but anyway yeah the name is Nazca and she just kinda came up beach right by my feet and I was like holy moly that is a big arapaima and then I ended up just getting it with a top water lure alright so the imitation snail snagged something Let's see what it is I wonder if it's another Siamese carp This feels smaller than what we were getting in the other peg, but we'll see. That would be insane to fish a fish. Is this a... What is this? Is that a carp? I don't think this is a carp, guys. I think this is a catfish. Um, I guess that the catfish would go for the imitation snail. Huh. I know I'm on a tournament, but I really doubt I'm gonna get up to 602 pounds. So, and I kinda, since I'm not familiar with this map, Hey Brantley, thanks for coming and hanging out, man. Red tail catfish, cool. So I gotta get rid of that snail. Um, yeah, thanks, man, for coming out and hanging out. 
I'll probably go live, if not the weekend, definitely Tuesday night around 7 p.m. Eastern. So, hopefully we'll see you there, man. Alright, gonna try the link. Gonna start moving my, uh, from the area. Land it on gravel. Gonna move everything. It's kind of like the edge of, of silt and gravel, but that's alright. I'm, I'm just gonna keep these on. Oh, that was a terrible spot. Oh man. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. All right, I'll take it. We're going to leave that one for a bit. Have a good day, buddy. All right, we got something with the SCB. Wonder if it's another Siamese carp. We'll see. Looks like it, but it looks very light color. I guess these big fish take forever to bring in, man. It must be so much fun doing carp fishing in real life. I've never done it. I'm pretty sure I saw some people doing like, uh, fishing for carp from a boat, but they were using like a bow with a bolt that has a uh, rope attached to it. You guys ever seen that? We got Brian Stevens, cast along the bank, reads Simon's card bite there. Okay, cool. So the bank to my left. That's what I assume you're saying. What about baits? What's the biggest carp you've you've caught in real life, Masaka? He looks cool, that that tail. Another Siamese carp, he's the smallest one we've caught so far. Alright, gonna go to the bank with the CD. Oh, credit that out. Sorry, we got time. 
All right, let's see what we picked up on the link. A 35 pound, wow, man. That's awesome. What do we got here? I, is, the, is, is it only Siamese carp in here? Anybody know what type of carp live in this lake? I just picked up the DLC, but I haven't had a chance uh, to play it. I was just checking out Laguna Iquitos, and then I've been, I guess, live streaming some online tournaments. And then other than that, I've been pretty busy with life, and... Uh, Got out doing some real fishing. But anyway, so. Nice. I think we got. What did we get today? 132 is our biggest one today. Yeah, 140. That's crazy, man. Yeah, I'm jealous of you guys who can go out and fish for carp and catfish. That's awesome. I wish I could. Uh... Can you keep carp? Like, do people eat carp? I don't even know. I know people eat catfish, but I don't even know. I, I don't. I've never tried catfish. I, I only eat trout and, and salmon and cod, and those are all the species I can fish here. And you catch them to eat them, right? Black paku. Awesome. My first one. Fifty-one pounds. I don't think he counts though. Does he? Oh, I guess he does count. So we are now in fourth place. Alright guys, the tiger nuts are not converting, so I think I'm going to switch those guys out. I think I just clipped my line. Let's see, what do we got here? We'll try a sink. You know what? I'm going to do the... This? I'll try this. I never tried the double corn. Or I think I have tried it, but I don't think I caught much with it. Alright, let's just throw out some corn, see what happens. See if they go for it. Fried catfish, that sounds pretty good, man. I guess anything fried is good. But yeah, I, th I think that the catfish would be something I would definitely want to try. Is carp good? To eat? Like, what would you rather have? A carp or salmon? You know what I mean? Or <laughs> okay, there's a ton of uh, carp swimming around my baits there. Cordbell pop up. Yeah, I think that I caught something with the pop up, but uh, it snapped the line. Gonna give this a minute and a half or so, and then I'll switch out. I'll try the 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 cord.
Yeah, I mean, they don't look that tasty and like... I don't know. Doesn't look that appealing to me. My favorite is, is trout and salmon, by far. Alright, let's switch some things out here. Or not. Let's fight a fish. So guys, so far I've done well on, uh, we'll do a catch summary. Well, I'll try to do it before the game ends. Because when I was doing the online tournament in Lake Arnold, I like doing catch summaries just so you guys can see the lures and the type of fish they caught. Oh man, I love cod, I love haddock. Great, great, great fish. Nothing like a good fish and chips, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, I got my 80 pound on, man. I wouldn't come to this giganto lake without that, that for sure. They are taking a long time to fight either way. Let's see, and I lost the fish because uh, I was too busy talking and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'll blame it on that, right guys? Yeah, I like eating um, shellfish too, like crab and, and lobster. I have gone to Louisiana before too and had uh, crawfish and I loved eating po'boys there. There's some tasty fried food guys in, in the southern United States for sure. <laughs> but yeah, I'd be interested to see what uh, carp is like. Man, I'm probably gonna lose that fish. I hope he stays on. This guy's almost tired. He just took a run for it. I think. Oh, that line is probably gonna snap any second. And my corn is definitely not working in that area. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, she snapped. That sucks. These fish take so long to fight, man. Whoa, this guy just took a, a run. He, this guy's a decent... Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, my lord! Sorry, guys, I lost another fish. Unbelievable. Wow, can't believe that. All right, it's okay, it happens. <laughs> Looks like something just uh, nibbled, but didn't take. Yeah, man, that's probably a good idea. I'm used to fighting uh, the regular carp in the game. Alright, let's see what we got. Tane. Caught a lot of good fish with Tane. Let's try that out. We'll stay in the same area.
and we'll switch out the other two if they stop converting. Looks like there's an Arapaima swimming by my stuff there. Yeah, Musaka, these are definitely not regular carp, that's for sure. That I, I can't believe I lost two fish. That is embarrassing. But alright, let's see if we can get some more. Okay. That link is working quite well, quite well. Oh yeah, I was going to try the Corda. The Corda pop-up. Oh, are you I'm serious? <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to fight these fish at 40 for sure. Can't believe I lost another one. This is pretty embarrassing, you guys. Catch them all. What? What? What did you catch with the tain there in the canal? All right, we got something on the Tane. I guarantee you guys I'm not going to lose this fish. Guarantee it. Hey, Julian, good to see you. What is this? Is this, is this a catfish? See, I feel like I feel like 40 is a bit too low. I, I like when they're not beeping, obviously. I don't, I'm not even sure that I have a catfish on the line here. Like our pie, I don't go for these catfish bait, do they? That looks like a long fish. What is on my line, guys, that's taking it out? I'm not even sure that it's catfish. Did anybody see that? Like, I don't think it's a catfish. I'm going to just switch over to to the link. I think it's a long f What is happening? Guys, is this a glitch? <laughs> Is this a glitch? Alright, I'm gonna go back to the Corda pop up and try that. Which one was it that I tried? This one? And then let's try essential cell again. <laughs> yeah, no, I know I can't fight the fish like carp, man. It's just that. Um, yeah, I'm not used to this lake at all, man. And, uh, usually I like trying to force the carp closer to me, but I'm gonna stop doing that. This is, uh, pretty embarrassing. This is the kind of stuff that happens when you're live streaming, of course. But, alright. Here we go. Bad Grandpa. Is that the one with, uh, Billy Bob Thornton? Trying to think if I've seen that one. Uh, 
Not a car prawn? Really? Inventory. So many rods. Free spirit high ass carp rod. This one looks sick. I'm gonna, gonna use this. Switch the area. I haven't fished to the right yet. Yeah, I have a ton of tackle points. I was just trying to get something that got me distance for a good price, Masaka. Uh, when I earlier on, just because I was looking for trying to get fudgies there for a video, and then I haven't really looked into upgrading my my rod at all in a long time. So yeah, and I, I I like using the long rods and then. Oh, we got something. Essential cell. Alright guys, what are the odds that I lose this fish? Put your bets on it. <laughs> this is now a gambling channel. <laughs> I'm just joking, of course. It's not a gambling channel. And... Anyway. There's no way 40 is too much. Catch them all. Uh, you haven't won a predator tournament uh, offline or in the career. Are you talking about Waldsey? Or Bergsy, because those are pretty tough, man. Looks like another Paku. Oh, everything's engaged right now. But I'm um, taking my sweet time with this fish. I feel like I could go up to 45, but don't want to risk it. No, I don't think we'll make it to the podium at all. First place probably has like a thousand pounds. I've lost three fish. I think four fish. This is my world record for... This is my personal record for losing fish.
gonna make another run for it. Hey, catch them all. Which tournament? Like, just any tournament? Or is there one you're having trouble with? Come on, get in here, buddy. There we go, he's coming in. Black Paku, nice. And I'm just gonna grab, I guess, number two. He's. Oh, he just, just missed him. Just missed him. All right, let's see what we got on the line here. All right, guys, I'm just uh, trying my hardest here to concentrate, so I'm losing my fish. <laughs> Man, that's so I was I wanted to see what was on line two though. That fish just took the line and went with it. So the link is attracting some serious monsters. This guy here doesn't he looks he doesn't look very scaly like all the other ones we've been catching, so I'm interested to have a look at him. Yeah, you think that uh, that line two is probably like an Arapaima or something like that? Oh man, look at this. It's another Paku. 55 pound personal best black Paku. Nice. I'll take it. Alright, let's head to the middle of the lake. Got them all, 130 yards, eh? What, what lake are you on? right clumped nice what line what line uh, 
What line are you using? Oh yeah, there's some big, there's some big ones there. Oh, there's an Arapaima looking at my stuff. And boom, the pop-up. Yeah, I'm digging the pop-up in this, in this place. It's done well by, by me so far. What do I have on? Oh, looks like another Paku, guys. He's, he's smaller, though. I'll take him, though. This is fun. I'm gonna do this again, man. Now that, uh... Oh, yeah. Hopefully this guy will come in a bit quicker. He looks smaller. Hopefully I don't lose whatever's on the line. Line three. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not gonna risk it. I think he's taking another run for it. There he goes. Okay, I think he's... Oh, no. He's got one more run on him. This has got to be the last round he takes. Come on. Come on, little buddy. I don't want to lose that line. Okay, here he comes. I might be able to grab line three. Another Paku. 38 pounds. Let's see what we got on line three. Hopefully, it's a carp. Yeah, man, I, I just got Ikitos and this one. Uh, and I caught... Um, I caught Nazca in Ikitos, that was really fun, and then I caught my first peacock bass there. It was super cool, and I, I, I also like the idea of the kayak, accessing areas of the kayak, that's super cool. Oh, that is not a carp, so I'm going to let that go. Alright, five minutes, probably enough time for one more fish. Yeah, I like I like Gigantica Road, man. That that's a good one. I think the last carp on the tournament was there, I think, wasn't it? Or no, I might have might have been uh Ray's Barrier, whatever that's called. I saw bubbles over here, so I'm just gonna cast over here by the bubbles. I kind of want to switch my bait, actually, but 
you know what? If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right now. You know, you can never go wrong with this one. I'm gonna switch these two out. I feel like they've been getting me some fish I wanna avoid. Let's try some from hell. Oh, look at that monster that just swam by us. I don't have the Lao Kerr, Kerr, and I don't think I have Lake, is it, is it Lake Dylan? I think it might be Lake Dylan. I'm, I'm also missing a few, for sure. Yeah, there's a good steam cell going on right now. I actually picked up uh, Hunter Call of the Wild, so I might, I might check that out and maybe make some videos on it. But uh, we'll see. Alright guys, so 355 pounds, 4th place. We're definitely going to get kicked out of that spot. It's still early in the week. This was really fun. You guys got me to see Mumble Around for a bit. Bumble Around, lose some fish. Um, I think it's my second time ever fishing this lake. Let's take a look at the catch summary. Sea monster, essential cell, imitation snail, got a catfish, which we didn't want. SCB link, essential cell did really well. Link and essential cell got us uh, some trophies, which is nice. Yeah, some good trophies there. Uh, I definitely, I'm looking forward to actually doing this. I'm probably going to end up doing this uh, again sometime this week if I can find a time. See if I can get a bit, a bit more. Because definitely if you're catching, I actually, it's funny because I moved pegs, but when I was in this peg here, guys, that's when I was catching the big Siamese cats. So maybe it's better to stay on this peg. So, but anyway, yeah, so I recommend this peg. I was getting the, the better Siamese cats there. All right, guys, I think I'm probably going to submit my score just because we're not going to catch anything else. Even if we do. Really fun. First in the bass tournament. Or if I got kicked out already. Oh wait, what week are we in? Oh, still number one, man, with the 57 pounds. Not bad. We'll see how long that lasts. I doubt it'll last all week, though. Yeah, Musaka. I would like to know that. Let's let's go. You can show me. I'm not gonna fish it, but I want you to show me the peg.
Yeah, Musaka, I, I have to go, so I'm not gonna actually fish for it. I just wanted to know the peg, and that way we can show people the peg. Bottom left. Okay. So this one here, I'll put it on, see what it looks like. But yeah, um, maybe I'll, I will make some Call of the Wild videos, I, but I haven't played that game much, obviously, so it's going to take me a little time to figure out what's going on, but that could be fun too. And yeah, once I get uh, the internet situation sorted, then I'll be able to play online with you guys. Uh, for this game, we're going to do some streams. I know Musaka was interested in that, so we're definitely going to do that. As far as my gamer tag goes... I don't. I, I play on Steam, Brian. But you can just go with Peregrino. It's my name there. Okay, I'll try the bottom right. Hey, Brian. So I, I'm not on social media, but. Um, I am gonna in the process. I just haven't had time, but I'm gonna make a Facebook group for the subs and The whole point of it is gonna be just uh, showing some catches giving each other tips maybe setting up uh, Live streams where we can play multiplayer that sort of thing So So yeah, that I, I feel like that could be pretty fun oh, Okay, so I have to walk Right here, where I am. But anyway, once I make the, the Facebook group, maybe I'll try to do that tomorrow. Once I make the Facebook group, I'll put a link on the community page uh, to it, and then I'll start, every time I post a video, I'll, I'll have a link on the description of my videos, and then I'll put a link on the, every time I live stream as well. Alright guys, so what Misaka is talking about is that there's a gigantic Arapaima in this map. So right now we're at the bottom peg, this peg here. And then you're standing right here and select evening. And then there's like a 560 pound Arapaima. A Discord instead of the Facebook group. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm I'm down. I mean, I you know, it, maybe I'll I'll end up making both probably just so it's You know, I'm not too familiar with Discord. I I used it to with some friends to play Rocket League, but that's about it. I haven't really used it to make a group or anything like that, but I can definitely look into it. All right, guys. This has been going on for how long? I think it's been a couple hours. I'm losing my voice again. So, thank you so much for everyone that came out, man. Uh, catch them all, Musaka, Julianne, Bryant. At one point, we had uh, Snake in here. Uh, we had Bryant. Uh, who else did we have here tonight? Brantley. There you go, Brantley. That's right. <laughs> and Jacob Smith and Sore Rift. And Spazin. And Scott Zellers. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out in the stream tonight. Next stream is scheduled for Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, but I, I'm going to see if I can do something on the weekend, maybe. And then hopefully we can start uh, getting some uh, subscribers playing on multiplayer games. That could be a lot of fun. Maybe do figure out some tournaments. I'll look into the Discord thing then. But anyway, you guys are awesome. I'm going to head out now.